Hello, here we are. Welcome to another Facebook Friday, right? A free lychee Friday. Hopefully you guys had a great week. First week of November. Oh my goodness. We have had the best fall weather, like late fall, like amazing. So, I mean, it's beautiful. Today's a little overcast, but it's been so warm. We've been, Stormy's been loving it. He's like, where? yeah, he's looking at me like, you said my name, mom. Uh, yeah, we've been on lots and lots of walks. So hello, Teresa, thanks for joining us. So yeah, I just can't, like, I can't get over it, like how great it's been. I just want it to continue for a while longer. So you never know, right? So, okay, you guys, hello, Lori. How how are you? Thanks for joining us. So we are going to play with some fun products. You guys probably have seen the Sweet Candy, candy Cane stamp set. So this is just a fun, like very classic holiday Christmas stamp set, right? With some great sentiments, like there's this little one right here that says Christmas cheer that I'm sure you're not going to be able to see. Um, it's the most wonderful time of year. There's that one right there. And then Wishing you lots of love, joy, and happiness this Christmas season and always. So I love those. These, I always think of these as like great sentiments for the inside of your card. So you can make your card all fancy and pretty on the outside. Hello, Luann. Hello, hello. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, another great one. Well, this is a cute one. Candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses. Philomena, hello. And they did a fun, um, I'm going to have to pull the catalog. I'm sure I have it out here somewhere. Um <clears throat> They did like a cute little tag with um, candy canes, like actual candy canes, and then they put that little sentiment on there, right? Again, candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses. So that's a cute little sentiment to put like on a little candy cane, right? And I was thinking, oh, I meant to get that done so I could show you guys. You can see it in the catalog, but I will be making those because I just thought they were super cute. And then another good one for the inside of your cards. May the, may the good times of today become the cherished memories of tomorrow, of course, right? Beautiful sentiment. And then last we have merry and bright in that cursive. There we go. You can kind of see it there, right? Yeah. So awesome stamp set, right? And then we also have the candy cane dies, which I'm going to hold up. I think that they will stay up. This is what totally drew, drew me to these dies. And we're going to play with this die today because I loved, I just, it's, it's kind of like a plaid look and you can actually cut one this way and then one another and flip it over and then it really is like a plaid. And then obviously those will cut out the candy canes, some little leaves, which actually there was that little leaf. So you can see the dies cut that leaf and then the candy canes both um, facing both ways too. So awesome, awesome stuff. You guys are gonna love, like again, very traditional holiday cards that we are going to make today. So I'm very excited about that. And then what else do we have going on? Oh, okay, so I wanna show you guys. Um, <clears throat> This was a cute little treat that I made for everybody. Started out at my customer appreciation event at the end of September. And then I thought, let's just make these for all my club members. So this turned into my club member treat for October as well. So everyone that is participates in a club or honestly, generally, I'm giving them to anybody that comes to classes these days too. So if you're local and want to join me for a class, I always love to keep cute little treats as a thank you for coming to class. Danielle, hello. I think I have a package for you out on the porch. <laughs> Maybe check that out, right? And then Marlene, hi, how are you? So again, super fun little stamp, um, well, little treat box right I love okay so this is that um is it the celebrate every everything the host designer series paper in the back of the holiday the July to December mini catalogs so you got the cute little um uh, gingerbread men and the candy and just kind of a fun I loved doing this like in non-traditional colors too so of course I pulled the colors from um, oh, maybe you did pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna, I thought I saw a bag with your name on it, but I'll have to go look. Um, I was thinking that I owed you the cards from your order, your, your 10 free cards. If you picked up the cards, then I think we're all set. If not, then they're out there. So <laughs> yes, thank you, Philomena. You're always so, so, so sweet. So yes, so again, this little treat, um, what's fun about it is, so you can kind of see we've got that um, sending um, sending love on um, the little label right there, right? And then um, it's a little, let's see. Okay, good, you picked them up, awesome. Okay, sorry, I haven't been out to the porch in a day or two, so I can't remember whose bags are still out there. I know there are a few that have been out there for a while, so I'm like, I gotta make sure I let everybody know. Um, I have, but a time or two, because sometimes people get busy and forget. So, okay, back to the little treat box. <laughs> Yes, and you are so welcome. So the fun thing is it is a little um, 
like there's a little belly band that just slides right off of the treat box. And then, and then this little guy opens up and that little guy opens up and then those little flaps open up. And then there is my little York peppermint patty inside. So that kind of gives you an idea of the sizing that you could fit um, like little, um, uh, like Halloween candy would have fit in here perfectly too if you wanted to make little treats for Halloween. But they're great. You could put them on the table um, like at Thanksgiving with a little like, you know, thankful, grateful for you um, tag on it. You see how easy that is to slip that right back on too. Um, I love them for Christmas. So these, I have made these little treat boxes for years and years. I think um, I found this little box design on Erica Serwin's um, website years ago, Pink Buckaroo Design. She always has so many cute, she does an amazing job with like 3D projects. So this is one that I picked up, like I said, years ago. I have done videos on it myself and I will be doing a blog post on this too. So if you're wanting to know how to make these, they're really very um, simple. I think you can actually make two boxes out of one um, piece of cardstock. So you get like an awesome kind of value in terms of how many you can make out of like one package of cardstock too. So anyway, cute little treats there that um, I was happy to share with everybody. And what else do we have going on? Okay, actually, because <clears throat> I have a ton of things I want to show you when we turn the camera down. So we are going to do our first drawing for, these are the iridescent pearls right here. So this is what we're going to give away on today's Facebook Live. If you shared last Friday's Facebook Live video, if you signed up for my email list, or if you shared the class to go kit posts. So, and thank you guys, people are starting to share those, which I truly, truly appreciate. So anytime you see one of my class to go kit posts, share that and your name goes in this drawing as well. So, okay, let's see. We have one lucky winner and I'm tossing them around, tossing them around. It is, who do we have? Miss Pam Simmons. All right, congratulations, Pam. You are the winner of the iridescent pearls and I will get those mailed out to you. All right, let me get rid of those. And let's see where I gotta find my, <laughs> I'm like, where did I put the name for? The names for, um, there they are, okay. Good, I'm like, gotta get the names in here for the next drawing already. So, okay, in the meantime, Next Facebook Live is gonna be two weeks from today because next Friday, right about now, I'm gonna be on the road to Indianapolis for the Stampin' Up! Um, on stage event. So it's like a convention, kind of a mini local one. The big one is actually in, I think it's in Vienna, Austria this time. So they, they move around. Sometimes it's in the US, sometimes um, it's in Europe. Um, I don't know if it's been anywhere else, but I think that's mainly been at the US and somewhere in Europe, which would be awesome to go to sometime, right? To go to like um, on stage, like a convention, a Stampin' Up! convention in Vienna, Austria. So yeah, I'm gonna have to, I have to be thinking about that for the future. At some point I'm gonna have to go do, go do like a, well, not road trip, that'd be like more than that, right? But anyway, it'd be a fun excuse to go do that. In the meantime, they do local onstage events for any current demonstrators. Obviously this one, it's too late to sign up, but they'll be doing another one in the spring as well. Um, but yeah, so they do local events. Um, I don't know, there are probably like five or six different uh, locations around the US. So the closest one for me was Indianapolis, Indiana, which is my birthplace. I was actually born in Indianapolis in Indy. Um, so that'll be kind of fun uh, to to get back to that area and also to see so stampin up wise they are going to give us the new january i'm like always get my 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 tongue gets twisted up there the january to june mini catalog so the next like occasions um catalog and then also hi barb how are you and then also we'll get the celebration brochure too so celebration will be will be um starting again in january so we'll be able to get both of those things so i'll have those in my hot little hands i won't be able to show you the inside of the catalogs that's always a huge no-no we will be able to play with some new products though i'm betting we'll get something for free as well um and then we'll get to see lots of things like in action. They'll be doing um, different uh, presentations and demonstrations and that kind of stuff. So it's like an exciting, so that's next weekend. So I'm, I'm heading down to Indy next Friday. So no Facebook Live next Friday is my long-winded way of saying that, right? We'll be back again on, so 4th 
it'll be November 18th will be the next Facebook Live. So on that next Facebook Live, we will give away the fine sparkle gems. Now these are, again, if you share this Facebook Live video right here, if you sign up for my email list, or the third way is to share the class to go kit post, which is the Christmas lights class to go that I'll show you guys in just a couple minutes. So yeah, share the, share the video and you get your name in the drawing to win those fine sparkle gems. Those are part of the gnome suite that we have. Super cute little sparkly. Um, they look like candies. Honestly, everything looks like candy to me these days because I think I'm a little bit candy obsessed. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. How are you? Thanks for joining us. So, okay, let's see. Um, oh yeah, so we have a new inspired stamper. Her name is, now I'm trying to read my writing, Casey Carroll. So welcome to Miss Casey. She joined uh, Jamie Sanders, which is one of my downline, one of my team members. She joined under Jamie. Um, so congratulations and welcome, Miss Casey. We're glad to have you as a part of our group. I'm glad you took advantage of that awesome. I think she did it on October 31st. So it was like her little Halloween treat. And I heard it was actually, so Jamie said it's her son's girlfriend and he bought her the starter kit as an early Christmas presents. I thought that was super cute too. So it's kind of like a Halloween gift because it was on October 31st, but then um, it was also an early Christmas present for her. So she took advantage of that awesome starter kit deal and got to pick $155 in product and um, only paid $99 plus sales tax. So awesome, awesome deal. And welcome Miss Casey to our expired stampers group. We're glad to have you as a part of our group. Yeah. Okay. Um, I always have to look at my notes. I wish I could like memorize this, but I know I would forget something if I did that. So, um, okay. So we are actually ready to do our next drawing. Okay. So this is the one, if you order online through me and use the host code, you, if you spend at least $50, you automatically get both of the cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, which I, so I did this card and then I, I'm trying to think of who was telling me. This one I think is called, I think it was Vina. Vina mentioned to me, this is a gatefold, which I never know the names of any of these things, but this was the one with the belly band that that comes off like that, which I guess it looks like a gate, doesn't it, right? And then that opens up like that. So if you're curious about how I made these cards, check out last Facebook, uh, last Friday's Facebook Live. And, oops, that's getting caught on something there. Uh, yeah, when you try to do that without looking at it, it doesn't work quite as well because it actually slips on really, normally it comes really easily. Sheila, hello, how are you? Thanks for joining us. I don't know if you saw, I don't have your address down in Florida. I wanted to send you a birthday card. Um, so send that to me if you would and I will get a little birthday card sent up to you. So anyway, okay, so yes, yeah, so um, if you put an online order in through me, you get both of these cards as a thank you from me. I'm spending at least $50. You also get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. This is our November tutorial. We actually features, yes, yeah, good to see you too, Sheila. Um, we actually featured the Memories and More kits this month. So that was kind of a cool. Oh, Sharon says this card was called a slanted gatefold. Okay, Connie Stewart, which she does, Sharon loves watching Connie Stewart videos. Like we said last week, Sharon does lots of uh, YouTube research, right? So I had mentioned that this was one that I cased from Sharon's um, swap. I don't think I have that over here with me, but I did show that last week too. So yes, the slanted gatefold card by Connie Stewart is the design for this card. Um, Oh yeah, okay. So I was talking about the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So we'll just do a quick flip. This is like a fun new cover. We have a new gal who's putting these together and isn't that beautiful? So it gives you a little snapshot of all the projects in here. But again, everything's in color. Um, this one, like I said, features a bunch of like memories and more um, kits and then how you can use the cards in the kit to make cards and scrapbook pages and little um, gift items. So yes, uh, you can get to pick either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment this month, which is the Champagne Rhinestones, okay? Plus your name is in the drawing right now for the Graceful Tiles stamp set, which I didn't have on last Friday's Facebook Live, but it's here now. So I'll be ready to send it out to one lucky person who wins this. Hello, Susie, how are you? Okay, so I love the sentiments. I have to kind of highlight these again. And I love this kind of mosaic tile 
look too so very pretty right um so we've got what a year here's to another one just as great happy birthday um so glad you live in my little corner of the world that one's sweet isn't it right there's happy anniversary which i know i said last week but we always need those because we don't have many stamp sets with that in it um the perfect day to celebrate sending love your way and because of you i laugh a little harder cry a little less and smile a little more so great sentiments in there too right okay so <clears throat> let's get this stuff out of the way all right we're gonna do our drawing for that graceful tile stamp set and okay i'm gonna shake these around one lucky winner okay we have i have one yes one in my hand okay we have miss ah miss vina gomez all right congratulations vina you are the winner of the graceful tiles stamp set so i will get that sent out to you as well miss vina okay all right, let's just get this stuff out of the way there okay i'm trying to like you know as always stay organized okay so i um have i emailed about this yet i don't think i'm trying to remember i did it a couple days ago and i can't remember if i haven't already i've scheduled email and i've scheduled facebook posts but i'm doing something a little bit different for the next for from now until november 16th i am holding what's called a thousand dollar workshop okay so this is the idea basically it's a way for you to put an order in i have a special host code for this thousand dollar workshop um and then you automatically either get free host benefits or a half off item so the idea is you put it, it's in increments of $100. So you put a $100 order in, you use the host code that I will give you in just a moment. Um, actually, I'm going to give it to you now too. And I'm going to need to make sure to post this on my blog. Um, so it is E-U-R-Q-W-K-D-Q. Okay, so that's the host code you're going to want to use. Again, I'm emailing about this and posting on our Facebook group so you can get that information too. And I will have it posted on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com as well. So this is the idea, okay? You put a $100 order in, you use the host code. You can also email me. You, so you can put the order in online or you can email me your order. Then I also separately, not through Stampin' Up, but this is through me, right? I'm gonna accumulate all those $100 orders. When I get to 10 $100 orders, that's my $1,000 workshop. If you go over, then host benefits may be higher than that too, okay? You will email me and let me know um, what your $20 in free product is, what you would like for that. You can pick anything you want. You can get the host items out of the back of either catalog. So there are great stamp sets and huge, beautiful packs of designer series paper in both the annual and holiday catalog. You can pick any of those things. So $20, if you go over, you can just pay the difference. It's not a big deal. Or you may get drawn for the half off item. So I need both of those things, okay? So place your $1,000 order or email me your $1,000 order. When you email me, tell me $20 in free product that you want and a half price item. So pick the biggest item that you can. I do know because I tried, you can't get the new die cutting and embossing machine. Hi, Lisa. Hello. You can't get that, unfortunately, with the half off item. Um, I feel like most, you know, email me and, and I'll check and make sure that it is um, a half off item because I think most everything else um, is half off. Like I know you can get the markers at half off, which I was kind of going through some of those things. Um, where did I list? Yeah, if you get the huge box of markers, that's like $123, I think, something like that. Um, you could get a whole thing of ink pads um, and that's um, like, I'm trying to think of how much are the ink pads, like 70 some dollars, I think, for the full for all of them, they might be, yeah, because you get 10 of them. Yeah, so anyway, you can get any of those like big ticket items that you've been looking at, any of those you may. So the idea is though, like I'll put, say I have 10 people that order. I'm gonna put 10 names in a hat and I'm gonna draw, the first one I'll draw will be the half price item and then everyone else will get the $20 in free stuff, okay? So you have to let me know both of them because I don't know who's gonna get picked for which one, okay? Um, but that's the basic idea. So, you know, if you wanna talk to friends, family, coworkers, get an order together, however you wanna do that, for every $100 order, you get to pick either $20 in free stuff or that half price item. So again, I'll be posting on my blog and I will be emailing about that and um, 
posting on Facebook too, okay? So let me know if you have any questions. In the meantime, your name will also go in the drawing uh, two weeks from Friday, which is the 18th, November 18th. You will get your name in the drawing for the, uh, what is this called? The, because <laughs> I don't have it yet again, but I printed the big flyer. Um, this one is called the Framed and Festive Stamp Set. Okay, so I printed out this big flyer so you could see. Of course, it's backwards, but I love like the cursive font. I always love those mixed fonts like that. Okay, so let me read these sentiments to you because this is part of the Fitting Florence collection. I'm gonna flip the camera down and I'll show you a little bit more in just a minute. But great stamps or sentiments like Merry Christmas, Fa La La, Tis the Season to be Jolly, From Our Home to Yours, from all of us, Noel, may this season be filled with peace and joy and have yourself a merry little Christmas. So those are the eight stamps in that stamp set, right? Again, and this is true if you place your $50 order, we're gonna do the regular deal where you will get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment. Your name will go in the drawing to win the uh, framed and festive stamp set. Um, what am I forgetting? Oh, um, yeah, free embellishment. Da, da, da. Oh, and then you get the two two cards from Facebook. Okay, so that's for fifty dollar order. When you go with the thousand dollar order option and the workshop, you're going to get your twenty dollars in free stuff or your half off item, and your name is also going to go in the drawing to win that famed impressive stamp set. Plus, you also will get five free handmade cards from me. So this has been what I've been doing with my hundred dollar orders. Um, so this I'll continue also, okay? So you can get five free handmade cards from me and your name will go on the drawing as well with your $1,000 order and then those $1,000 workshop benefits too, okay? I know that's a little confusing. If you have any questions, let me know because honestly, I'm still kind of wrapping my brain around, around what the heck I'm doing too, but that's, that's the plan, okay? Um, all right. And I will have that stamp set for our next Facebook Live. It's on order. I actually think it's coming tomorrow. So almost, almost had it here in time, right? Okay. Oh, actually, I do have notes about how this is working. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. For $50 order, you get the two Facebook Live cards that I'm going to do in just a few minutes. Your name goes in the drawing for the famed impressive stamp set, and you get the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial. For your $100 order, if you bump it up to $100, you're going to get a $20 in host product or a half price item. Your name goes in the Facebook Live drawing, and you also get the five free handmade cards from me. Okay. So yes, good. I have that straight. I'm glad I have my notes. <laughs> Literally, I have to write everything down these days. I don't know if you guys are like that, but yeah, there are way too many things going on these days to keep track of all of the details, it feels like. Okay, but I think we are good. I'm trying to make sure I have what I need for when I flip the camera down too. Okay, but I think we're good. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yep. All right, okay, so turn your heads away. We are gonna fly through the air and I'm gonna show you guys um, some more good things, okay? So one moment, please, avert your eyes. Uh, ooh, I like pinched my finger, that didn't feel very good. There, okay. <laughs> I'm like looking over top. All right, we're gonna flip the camera down. Okay, good. All right, so I wanted to show you guys, this is the Fitting Florets collection. This is a product that is not in the catalog and some of it is now available only while supplies last. Some of these things will be in our next uh, January to June mini catalog. So there's a full collection of products that you can get and I'll show you. This is kind of just a pretty picture of, of everything that... Um, you kind of get in the collection, right? So that's the deal where you have like one item code and you get all of these things with the one item code, okay? And I'll include the link to um, the details for this on my Facebook Live, you know, above this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded today. Okay, so there is the Framed and Florid stamp set. And you guys may have seen because people have been using this stamp set a lot. And then there are also the Framed Florid's dies. So you can get the stamp set, you can get the dies, or you can get the bundle. Those things will carry over into our next mini catalog. These other items like, what are these called? The gold adhesive backed swirls, which I will have these again. 
Um, you can kind of see so pretty gold and then they're like swirly, right? Those are only available now. So it says now through January 4, but again, only while supplies last. This is that framed and festive stamp set that I'm going to be giving away. Actually, you can see that better. This is the one that you'll get your name in the drawing if you place a $50 or up to $100 order um, using the workshop, the $1,000 workshop. Either one of those, you get your name in the drawing to win that stamp set. But you can also buy that stamp set as well, the framed and festive stamp set. And then we have the Fitting Florets Designer Series Paper. So beautiful florally paper that will coordinate really well with the stamp set and the dies and with our holiday stamp set and then with those gold swirls. So these three things right here are only available right now while supplies last. This framed florets stamp set and dies will carry over to the next catalog. Yeah, because I'm saying limited time, limited time, limited time. Yeah, okay. And then here is another little example of, again, all of the product in that fitting florets collection. So there's another picture of the stamp set. Actually, both of them, you can kind of see the little swirls right there, and then a couple of the pretty pieces of designer series paper along with some of those frames. Those are beautiful too. You kind of get the idea over here, right? Like this is one of those dies that will cut this whole little deal out, or this one's kind of pretty too. It kind of cuts, so it would cut out the inside, and then separately there's another die you can put that'll cut out all those little hearts. So very pretty, but again, these are not in the catalog, so I will make sure to include the link to these if you're interested in buying them, okay? Um, again, I would not wait just to be safe because the swirls, the stamp set, and the DSP are only um, available while supplies last, okay? <clears throat> Let's see what I want to show you guys next, I think. Right, yes. Okay, I got to keep with my... <laughs> with my plan. Okay, so scrapbook pages. We had scrapbook class at the end of October, which was just before, I guess the week before Halloween, that last Tuesday of the month. So these are a couple of the pages. Again, so just like the designer series paper on that little sending love treat, the um, celebrate everything designer series paper, these are more um, sheets in that designer series paper pack too. So fun little leaves and stripes. Okay, so there's the first page with the little love and warmth. And then those awesome, those were super popular. It's funny because we used to have a die that probably cut something similar and then we have craft paper, but having them already cut has been a huge um, draw for people. And then those pretty gems too. They might not be on back order any longer, but they were, the leaves were for a very long time. And then here's the other page. We kept these pretty simple again with that designer series paper and the little so grateful stamp with, now this is not part of that fitting florets collection, but very similar with that frame and then the inside piece there too. So yes, yeah, some pretty fall pages for you. And then we move to holiday time. So these are super cute with that gnome collection, right? <clears throat> So we've got a fun little page here with the little tis this season and the coordinating ribbon. And then those are some of those um, dots that I'm going to be giving away if you share this Facebook Live video. We'll do that on our next Facebook Live. And then here's the other page right here with the little sentiment. All is merry and bright with more of that ribbon and more of those little um, gems on there as well. So kind of a couple of fun little pages there for your photos, right, for holiday winter time. Okay, let's see what's next. Ooh, all right. Okay, we are we are actually cruising along here. Okay, so I got to remember the details. This is my latest class to go. So you're going to scoot those over here. Okay, so little slight snafu though, because of course, right after I designed this class and got everything all ready to go, then Stampin' Up! said, oh, guess what? This ribbon is going to be on back order for a while. So I've got a line on a few bolts of ribbon. Um, people from my team have told me, oh, I have that ribbon. So I am going to go ahead with it and hope that I can get enough ribbon. Worst case scenario, I'll show you this in just a sec, but worst case scenario, I know I have at least a few bolts so I can send everybody the ribbon they need to make their cards. And then separately, I'll mail out the ribbon when it comes in um, if I don't have it in time for the to-go kit. So we'll, we'll figure that out. I'm not overly concerned. I just wanted to mention that at the forefront in case anybody knew, like you can't even get that ribbon right now. Wish I had stockpiled. That would be the better thing to have done, but I didn't 
realize, I, I checked too before I designed this class to go and this wasn't, I don't even think it was on low inventory. So something that it sold quickly somehow. Anyway, okay, so these are, we're doing um, with the Christmas lights stamp set and die. So let me show you the cards and then we'll talk about how this class to go is gonna work. Okay, so we've got this first card, the little Merry Christmas, beautiful, right? Season's greetings, and the ribbon is gorgeous, isn't it, right? All is merry and bright and wishing you a season of hope and light, okay? So those are the four cards that you can make in this class to go. Um, option number one includes the Christmas lights stamp set and the dies, so the coordinating set of dies called the Twinkling Lights dies, okay? So you're definitely gonna want these stamps and these dies to create your projects. Option number one includes them, right? It also includes, hopefully, a full bolt of the ribbon, if not, again, what you need to make your projects, a full package of the festive pearls, and a full package of the Lights Aglow Designer Series paper, which is that beautiful paper, of course, featured on those projects. You actually get the pearls for free in option number one, plus you get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put your projects together. You get parts and pieces for two of each of these, okay? So option number one is $92. Then option number two does not include the stamp set and the dies. Make sure you have these because you have to do your stamping and die cutting. You get the ribbon, the pearls, and the designer series paper, the Lights of Glow designer series paper. All the parts and pieces, again, to make two of each of these cards and the PDF tutorial. So option number two is $46. If you need option number one or two shipped to you, it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. Then I also want to mention that I used, so you'll see because this stamp set doesn't, it's got beautiful imagery, but no sentiment. So I went with the Coordinating Brightest Glow stamp set. If you would like to order the stamp set, you can do that. Uh, if you have other stamp sets that you wanna use for your sentiments, you can see um, they're pretty simple. I will do the die cutting of all of these labels for you. So the labels are actually from this Labels Aglow die set, so I will do all of that die cutting for you. Uh, if you would like to get, though, the stamp set, the dies, or the bundle, I'm going to include those as an add-on at catalog price only. So no tax, no shipping will be charged if you're interested in getting those. So the stamp set is 25 the dies are 33 and the bundle together is $52. So that's in addition to option number one or number two if you're interested in that. And then obviously no additional shipping if you need it shipped because it'll all go together, okay? But again, you can use, so you can use this stamp set if you have it. If you have another, another stamp set, you can use that. Or if you wanna order these, you can do that too, okay? Um, let's see, option number three, PDF tutorial, $15 um, available anytime my downline gets those PDF tutorials for free. And then option number four is also for my downline. Any of my Inkspired stampers can get all the parts and pieces to make these four cards for just $12. Okay, um, ink pads that I used, Evening Evergreen and Cherry Cobbler, so I kept that simple. RSVPs are due by Friday, November 18th, so two weeks from today, RSVPs are due. We're doing a quick turnaround time because I want to get you these Christmas cards, right? And then um, they will ship out by no later than November 30th, hopefully much sooner than that. Um, if I get orders early, I'm going to order as quickly as I can and get everything uh, prepped and ready to go so you can have your projects um, so that you have them, you know, to be able to make them in plenty of time for Christmas. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions because I, I love, I mean, look at these cards are just, it's the paper, it's the ribbon, it's the stamps, it's everything. It's all just gorgeous. Love to get you one of those kits. Okay, lots of chit chatting today, huh? Okay, we are going to grab, here we go. All right, we've got our grid paper. I think we're good with that. Let's make sure. Yep, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a little thrown because I normally would give you this host code and I didn't print another one of these for my $1,000 workshop. So, uh, and honestly, if you use this host code and spend $1,000, we can make that work too. So you want if you wanna use the 77SEJBC4, for either your $50 or $100 order. Um, or again, I will post on um, our Facebook group, on my blog, 
and um, I'm emailing. This is another host code you can use, the U, the E-U-R-Q-W-K-D-Q. -E Either one of those for your $1,000 workshop, okay? Keep that simple. All right, let's see. Let's do our stamping. Okay, so first card, ladies. Again, featuring that die I love. When I saw this, I was like, okay, I have to have that die, right? Brenda, good morning. So glad you can be here with us. Okay, so let me show you how we did this. And I don't know if you can see, I actually did emboss because I wanted it to be a little bit sparkly. In the right light, you can see that as well, I think. Okay. So we're gonna get our ink pads. Get some stamping. All right, let's see, we'll put the ribbon over here. One more. All right, I think we're good. I just need to get all my parts and pieces. I've got my, there, okay. All right, here we go, ladies. So we are gonna start with, this is a piece of pool party cardstock, okay? Can we see this? Just barely, right? Okay, maybe if I turn these sideways. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Here is our pool party cardstock. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, okay? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So there's our card base, right? Then we have a piece of basic white cardstock. This one measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And that is what we're gonna do that die cutting with. And then, this is so cool, cause that die fits right over this designer series paper. So this piece of DSP measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. Again, I will include the names, the um, colors used, the dimensions, everything that you need to know to order these products and recreate the projects will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? Then I basically have scraps of basic white, garden green, and real red to do my stamping, punching, and die cutting, okay? So let's see. We'll actually put that one right over there because that's for a punch, right? And this and this we don't need quite yet. I'm trying to make room for my stamping and my die cutting. Okay, so Let's see, that is just die cutting too, right? Okay, so we've got these couple of pieces here that we are going to do, mm, 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 mm. let's do this first, yep, so then it has a sec. Okay, so I am gonna stamp in Pool Party ink and then I'm gonna use my clear embossing powder just to give a little bit of shimmer. Um, I love, like we've had um, sequins in the past, like dazzling, dazzling Diamonds, where we could also, and I don't think we have them right now, but you could kind of use a little bit of liquid glue and then add um, the rhinestones right on there, so that's kind of fun too. So this is um, a little bit different version of that using our embossing powder okay so let me see all right we are going to here we go because I want to stamp this and emboss actually let me make sure I'm all ready to go here so I've got my clear embossing powder right and then I've also got my heat tool okay all right so I love to use the little um, Ziploc or Tupperware containers, right? So I put my um, clear embossing powder right in here and then I will just sprinkle it right over and anything extra will fall right in that little tub. So it's very handy and doesn't get embossing powder all over everywhere, okay? So I wanna ink this up really well. They say that any of our ink pads we can emboss with now with the, I say new, I mean, we've had them for a while, but um, with the firm foam ink pads. Okay, right, so we're gonna just sprinkle this. You wanna be generous, get it all over everywhere. Make sure you do move this way out of the way so that when you go to do your embossing, it's not flying, you know, the powder isn't flying all over the place. Okay, so this will take just a second. And it's, um, you can't see it quite as well as like the gold and silver, especially maybe in this light, but it definitely adds like a little more shimmer and sparkle there. I can kind of see that. 
happening. Okay, so and it just, it like raises it up just a tiny bit. So you just get a little bit more texture and kind of gloss happening with it. There we go. Hi, Lucy. How are you? All right, so we're gonna kind of set that aside because I want that to cool down a little bit before we do our die cutting on that one, okay? So then I'm also gonna stamp in my real red ink. I'm gonna stamp my Mary in bright. Okay, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. We're gonna press straight down and lift straight up. I love the font on that too, right? Isn't that so cool? The Merry and Bright. And then we're also gonna use our Garden Green. And you guys know all of these colors basically were pulled from this piece of designer series paper. So Real Red, Garden Green, and Pool Party. That's the beauty of Stampin' Up, right? So then I used my Pool Party cardstock and then my coordinating ink pads and, um, and other cardstock too, actually. Okay, so this is Garden Green. We're gonna stamp a couple of, I was trying to remember if I did, if I did stamp off, and I think I did, because I wanted them a little bit lighter. I'm trying to find my scrap paper that of course is like, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna actually stamp on here, stamp off, and then, yeah, because I want that a little bit darker, or lighter, excuse me. There we go. Okay, perfect. Let's get our die cutting machine. We've got a few. All right, I'm just putting the cap back on there. So you can see any extra just kind of fell into there. Put the cap back on, lid back on, and I'm good to go for next time too. Okay, all right, ladies. So check out this, my most favorite die here, okay? So we've got a few things. Let's do this one first. Okay. So I'll put this right on here. And you do want to make sure, because you're actually using this piece, so you don't, you wanna make sure that it's kind of even, like from side to side and top to bottom. I think that looks good. Okay, oops, excuse me. All right, so check this out i'm gonna go through once and then i'm gonna go back just to make sure i've got everything cut well okay all right and look at it all just like kind of lifts right out of there if you just kind of move it around a little bit so isn't that so cool and then it's going to layer so then those stripes pop right through there. Isn't that so cool? I love, 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 love that. Okay, so now that we've used that one, we have a few more things that we need. Okay, so I'm just trimming these up so we can, we're gonna do these two guys right here. I'll get those situated in a sec, right? Then we've got this one. This one and this one, and we also have, where's our, let's see, we can trim this guy down too. Okay, and we'll put this one right on here. So we've got some more die cutting to do, but this should all work out just fine. I also used, these are the Stylish Shapes dies. Charlene, hello. Thanks for hanging out with us today. All right, so we're gonna do the bigger banner in on our real red, our smaller one over the Mary and Bright. And then I need one of my candy cane dies to go over top of that little guy there. Okay, so that's fine. Let's get this one situated. Will <laughs> I'm gonna like say a prayer that all of these things actually stay, all four of them at once, five of them. <laughs> I'm like tempting some fate here, I think. Okay, and then we'll get this one here. So are you guys, are all your leaves raked in your yards, ladies? We just spent a good amount of time last Saturday raking all the leaves. And then, you know, you wake up Sunday morning like, oh, wow. I knew, I mean, you know it's going to happen because there's still a bunch of leaves on the trees. But it was getting pretty bad, so we had to do one round. And I've started my second round, but I'm kind of waiting for all the leaves to come down before I 
get too crazy again out there, but it's so nice. The weather's so great. Um, I walked by Storm and I went on a walk last night and one of my neighbors already has their holiday lights up, which I guess, um, you know, you kind of laugh, but um, the weather's so nice. Like you got to take advantage of that while you can, right? Okay, so then this is the banner and I love the stitching. So these things, honestly, if you guys don't have the stylish shapes, dies, squares, circles, and banners, we use those other two. I use these things all the time. I would highly recommend those dies. Let's see, how did our Marion Bright do? I think it's gonna be all right, yes. All right, I did a good job on that one, shoo. And then let's see the leaves here too. How did the leaves come out? Yeah, okay, that one looks good. Oh, yay, okay, nothing moved. All right, it's a good day, ladies. We'll get those things back on there, okay. That one, okay. I think we have everything so that we can start putting our project together. Okay, let's see, I need some adhesive and I definitely need my silicone mat here. I kind of just threw everything, so let me <laughs> make sure I have it all now. Okay, so this one, like I said, it like lines up and you might have to just shimmy it around a little bit, but we are gonna put adhesive all over this guy and then we're gonna line the designer series paper up behind it okay so I'm just doing little flicks and I'm going to go around the edges just a little bit we're definitely using our silicone mat so that we don't get adhesive all over our grid paper our work paper because that's annoying when you go to put something down and it sticks right okay then we're going to lift that up put our designer series paper down and find somewhere to hold it that doesn't have adhesive <laughs> is kind of trick number one. And let's see, isn't that funny? Now I'm like, hmm, let me see if this way, yeah, I think that's it, there we go. I'm like, I knew I cut it so that it would fit perfectly. Isn't this so cool how it just peeks right out behind it? Okay, and then I'm gonna just press, I've got some adhesive, if you kind of gently you know, swipe your finger across there, you can get that adhesive um, off. Be careful though, because I was kind of really aggressive and then I almost ripped one of those things. Hi, Deb. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you as always. So there we go, right? Okay, we'll get that, those little bits of adhesive off there. Okay, so there's step one. We can go ahead and just add this right to our card now. I know, Deb, I love this paper too. Uh, is it, I think, the sweetest Christmas designer series paper, which I, yeah, this is so pretty. All the like candy cane stripes. I'm like, keep feeling little bits of adhesive, but that's okay, right? Okay, now I actually also have my garden green cardstock, and we're going to use our sprig punch. I just need a couple of these, the big sprigs, okay? So I'm probably gonna get some little bits of little ones. Doesn't really matter, but I don't need those little baby ones. So we'll get rid of those, maybe. <laughs> it's gonna get like stuck underneath there. Okay, scoot that out of there too. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna bring this back into view because I'm, you know, I did this like days ago, so I'm trying to remember um, <laughs> the steps that I did. So I think we're gonna add those in a little bit later. We are going to, actually, this is gonna be our next step. We're gonna use some of the iridescent trim. I loved like just kind of the sparkle of this. Um, my adhesive is right here in front of my face. So we're just gonna run a little, oopsie. Oh, there's a, there's a little bit of adhesive where I don't want it. There we go, okay. So we're just gonna run a little bit. So I like to just kind of loop it and tack it, right? Okay, so we got a little there and a little there. We're gonna just trim that off there. Next, we are going to put some dimensionals behind our, oh my goodness, that's the thing I forgot. I always forget those. One moment, I'll be right back with my dimensionals, ladies. always worries when I run. <laughs> like, what's she running from? What's going on? Should I follow her? There we go. Okay, so we're going to just add those. I'm trying to be careful not to put any in the middle so that it's not super bumpy, and I think that's going to work nicely, just like that. Okay, so there we go. We're going to put 
that. And can you kind of see in the right light there, okay? You can see the embossing on it, so just adds a little bit of shimmer. You can definitely see it more in person, I think, than you can, um, uh, you know, on the Facebook Live, I would say. Okay, so this I want to just, mm, I'm trying to remember, because it is a little bit bumpy there. Mm, what do I want to do? If I put dimensionals, yeah, I think we're going to just add adhesive because it was a little more bumpy than I wanted it to be. It's definitely going to stick on my candy cane bit there. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then we're also, I'm going to bring this guy back in and I'm going to put some adhesive on this one. And then also on the back of my sprigs and my leaves. Okay. So we'll have these all ready to just pop in where we want them, okay? Scoot that over there, right? Okay, so we've got our, ha huh, so cool. I love those little banners like that, right? Okay, so now we're gonna pick this guy up and we're just gonna kind of fit him underneath there and then we're gonna put one more. Kind of just fit that one right underneath there. And then one more little leaf right there. Oops, I didn't grab that one, did I? And one more little leaf right there, okay? And then last, because I always have to add a little bit, of, a little bit more sparkle, right? We're gonna grab a couple of our, um, what are these, the pearls? Now I'm trying to remember what they're called, the opal rounds. These are the opal rounds. Gonna put a couple of opal rounds on our project. And maybe right there. And we are good to go. There we are, ladies. Thank you, Philomena. I know I love this designer series paper too. It is just beautiful, isn't it? And then just so fun. This die, I think, is amazing, right? Obviously, you just put that right on the paper and it just pops right through. So how cool is that, right? The little Mary and Bright card. Okay, so there's card number one. Actually, I'm going to scoot these over here so I don't forget to show you them. Let's do a quick cleanup because I know I need at least one of these. I know I need my candy cane stamp again for the next card. So we've got more fun candy cane making on our next project. Thank you, ladies. I know I'm loving this die set and stamp set and paper. It's the whole suite, really. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Yeah. Do I have? Yeah, here we go. I was, I was like, wait a minute, I'm cleaning that stamp and I didn't even use it. So let me show you on the inside. We did just a little, we did the, may the good times of today become the cherished memories of tomorrow. And then those little, so we got to do those, don't we? Okay, let's do that. So we need our real red ink. Let's see which, there we go. Make sure we're right side up. Okay. Hopefully we're straight. Okay, yep, that looks good. And then a couple of little leaves in the bottom corner. There we go. Okay, now I can officially clean <laughs> all of these things. Get the ink out of the way, right? Um, where's my cleaner? Right here, okay. Scoot that, okay. So we've got that sentiment. Yeah, like I said, I was going, I cleaned that sentiment. I'm like, that doesn't look like it's been used because I hadn't used it yet, right? Funny how that happens. All right, so here we're gonna add some adhesive on the back of this little guy. I'll get that scrap piece out of the way and then we'll add this to the inside of our card. May the good times of today become the cherished memories of tomorrow. So true, right? Okay, there we go. Now we're set with the first project. Okay, here is our next one. More fun with the candy canes. So check this out. Like I love that just popping that, um, right, like the real red card base just popping out from behind that layer too. And then this fun little candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses. And then on the inside, we did wishing you lots of love, joy, and happiness this Christmas season and always great sentiments for the inside of your cards, right? Okay, so here we go. 
Actually, I only need my... No, I do need garden green too, don't I? Okay. Get myself confused already. Easily done these days. Okay. So here we go with real red card base this time. Okay. We're in view, right? We're doing okay. All right, so we've got our real red cardstock, again, a tall card. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half to make our tall folding card, okay? So there's that right there, okay? Then we have, and this one is just a touch larger. I went this time with, hmm, this one is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So you just have that little layer of red around the outside edge, okay? So this is gonna go right on there and we're gonna die cut that in a moment. In the meantime though, we are gonna do our stamping. Okay, so we are gonna stamp our candy canes, two of them, one going each way, okay? So we're gonna stamp that one there. Okay, and then we're going to stamp this guy right there, okay? We also need, um, let's see, where is it right here? <laughs> right in front of my face. My garden green ink pad, and we're gonna stamp our candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses sentiment. We are gonna stamp that right there. Beautiful, perfect, love it. Ha! Huh. Thank you, Lucy. I'm glad, and Brenda, you guys are enjoying these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So fun. These are, they'll just put a smile on your face because they're just so fun to play with these projects, right? Okay, products, making these projects, playing with these products. Okay, um, I think we're good. Let's scoot these things out of the way, right? Okay, yes, 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 and then that one too. Okay, I'll show you guys all the dies that we're using as I put them on here. We're gonna have to do a couple of runs through here also. Okay, so let's do, we're gonna do this one and I think I can fit one more on here. So we'll do that, we're gonna scoot our paper. Okay, so again, you just wanna make sure top and bottom, side to side that you're fairly even, you know, it doesn't have to be. Absolutely, but you just don't want it way off on one side or it'll look kind of unbalanced, right? Okay, so then I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna cut this little label right here, but then I'm gonna cut off the bottom of it and that's how we made that little guy right there, okay? So that might make more sense in a moment. Okay, we're gonna do that right about there. Okay, so here's round one of our die cutting. And again, we're gonna go back through, sorry, it's wiggly. We're gonna go back through to make sure, somehow I find when you do that, if you run it back, back and forth like that, it tends to help um, cut everything really nicely. Okay, so here, this was the one that I was talking about that they slipped a candy cane through both of those little holes and then it kind of laid on there and then they did a little ribbon it was super cute but the candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses of course that's the perfect little sentiment there right and then let's see this thing yes look at that it all like just popped right out so there again in our white right okay we'll just scoop those right off and into the trash for later um okay now we need to do our two candy canes and our little label that the candy canes go on top of. I think that's gonna work. Yep, we've got just enough room there. Okay, so we've got both of our candy canes. Do those, and then we are also using this little label right here is what we're gonna layer everything on top of. And I'm almost forgetting, but I'm not going to so I just happen to have one of these little snowflakes. So this last week we used this set of dies, the tag set. So this is the little snowflake from the tag set of dies called the Celebration Tags dies. So again, we're just gonna use that little snowflake right there. We're gonna snag this thing. Okay, so I think, oh, well that wasn't gonna work. I think I would have figured that out, right? I've put those on the wrong ones. 
Okay, so we've got, oh, yeah, okay. That's how that's gonna work, huh? Okay, I move my paper. Can you guys see the fun I'm, oh, you can't even see all the fun I'm having. Just trying to get this lined up. And of course it keeps moving a little bit. There, okay, I think we got that one. And we've got this one, does that look all right? And then this one is fine as long as it's on there and that one is good. Okay, all right, I think we are good to go. Let's see here, huh? Oh, that one moved, my candy cane. I'm gonna try to rescue that. Okay, that's all right, I was trying to do too many. You guys didn't even see what's going on. This is what was gonna happen. Do you see how it moved? So let's just grab, oop, that didn't quite work. <laughs> I stopped before I got, okay, so we're gonna cut that one again. This one should be good, yep. Yay, candy cane, looks so real, doesn't it? Okay, and then this great label right here. Now we need both of these pieces. So this is what's kind of funny about this is that cuts that up, but we're gonna add that back because I want both of those for what we're doing today. And then we are going to scoot this over here and this over here, we're gonna run one more time. That snowflake got partially cut and that thing was gonna move and be not pretty, but I think we've got it now. Okay, there we go. Crank those through and we are good to go. So beautiful snowflake, huh? It just pops right out. Love that. All right, okay, let's get that guy off of there. All right, scoop this guy out of the way. Okay, I think we are ready to put our second project together. Okay, we're gonna bring that back into view so I know what I'm doing. Again, we are gonna use our little silicone mat and we're gonna just add some adhesive around the edge of things and along some of the um, wider panels there, okay? We've got this one. Okay, and we're just gonna scoot it till we see just a little bit of red around all of the edges. Okay. All right, next I'm going to put some dimensionals. And again, I'm gonna use this little mat right here. Whoops, throw my dimensionals on the floor. Okay, all right, so I want to Make sure that stays together. So we're gonna do that and that, and then I'm just gonna add a couple of little ones around the little mini dimensionals. Add a couple of these around the edges. There we go, okay? All right, so we can put this guy on, right? Oops. I am like flinging stuff all over the place. Okay, I think I did, I put that straight up and down. I wasn't sure if I put it at a little bit of an angle or not, but it doesn't look like I did. Okay, so I'm trying to get that kind of even in here. That looks good there. Next, I'm gonna grab these guys and I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals. We'll use the mini ones on these too. Let's see, that one's gonna go first. So let's do that. Cause I, I like to um, not put dimensionals all over. You'll see what I mean. Like I don't want dimensionals right behind that part cause I don't want that bumping up, okay? So we're gonna just remember that. We're gonna kind of put them at the top and the bottom and I'll just add a little bit of adhesive right in the middle there to kind of get it to stick on the other candy cane, right? So that one can go there, right? Next, we have our little sentiment. So there's that, right? And I just want to kind of trim off along the bottom. So we're just gonna do that. And I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive on that little baby. So that is gonna go right there. And then we're also gonna grab our little snowflake and just put a little bit of adhesive on that one and add that one right there. Okay, so you see how this is like coming together very kind of quickly and easily, right? What I forgot though was that I have a stamp on the inside of this one too, but we'll do that in just a sec. Let's keep rolling since I'm on a good, <laughs> I'm on a good roll here. So this is some of the garden green um, part of the combo pack, right? 
Oh, thank you. An ad for the craft show that Sharon and Jenny are doing tomorrow. So yes, if you're local to us at his place here in Alma, Sharon and Jenny, part of our Inkspired Stampers team, are going to be um, there at the craft fair with all their cute little goodies uh, can't wait to see that and I hope everything goes really well for you guys tomorrow that will be fun it's kind of the it's going to be the perfect day I think um, yeah for a craft fair right okay forgot the mini glue dots so instead normally I would use a mini glue dot but we're going to just add a little bit of adhesive and do that right there right and then let's see where are my red rhinestones right here we go we're going to just add a few sparkles of red rhinestone we're going to put one so i started oops where did that go <laughs> i started with one on my snowflake and then i was like oh i think we need a couple more still so we are going to i kind of put one man these things are flinging all over the place there we go one there and i think it's because they're so tiny and maybe one right there. Okay, there we go. There's a little bit of adhesive. I have to get that off, right? Okay. Then on the inside of our card, we have same idea with another sentiment and the little candy cane in the corner. So I'm going to snag this because I know my candy cane is going to go off the edge. Grab my ink. So we'll just do the candy cane first. Right, we've got this little guy. Probably help if you had your paper, right? We're gonna do that little candy cane there, right? And then our sentiment in garden green. We are, there we go. Make sure we're right side up now, right? That's probably why you should stamp your sentiment first. So, well, I guess either way, he might have to flip it over, right? There we go, wishing you lots of love, joy, and happiness this Christmas season and always. Okay, we'll put this on the inside of our card. And are we good? I think we might be. Craft or math, ladies, it's a serious issue today. <laughs> lots and lots of uh, stuff on the table. And Sharon says she's working like crazy. <laughs> Yes, kind of like cramming for a final exam. Yes, I know. I remember that. I've done that craft fair and others too, you know, where you're like, oh, one more thing. I just want to get one more thing done. Well, make sure you take care of yourself too, because tomorrow's a fun day if you're not completely exhausted too. So just keep that in mind. You've probably got lots and lots of good stuff already, Sharon. So don't stress yourself out too much. Go and have a great um, fun day visiting with everybody too. Okay, so don't forget. Thank you guys. Thank you, Philomena, so very much. Um, thousand dollar workshop. Okay. Well, let, let me. Mm, gosh, I'm even confused. Sorry. <laughs> Although that's easily easily done these days. Okay. Well, just remember, thousand dollar workshop. If you put a $100 order in, you need to email me whether you want $20. Well, if they're $20 in free product and your half price item, people will be picked, right? Somebody will be picked for the half price item. Nine people will get the $20 in free product, okay? You will also get your name in the drawing to win the uh, festive something or other stamp set, this awesome stamp set, right? And you'll get the five free uh, handmade cards from me as a thank you for your uh, $1,000 workshop order, okay? If you want to go the regular route and put your $50 order in, this is the host code you want to use. You're going to get both of these projects that I did on Facebook Live, and you get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial right here or the free embellishment which are the champagne rhinestones okay and you get your name in the drawing too for the stamp set okay thank you guys so i need to go take a nap i'm exhausted hopefully you guys have a great weekend um great november get your leaves raked ladies and we'll see you guys again two weeks from today thanks everybody bye